Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to say thank you for everyone who's been tuning in the last couple of months and watching my videos of all my bag reviews. I really appreciate the time that you guys have taken to watch them and just comment and ask questions and just interacting with me. I've really enjoyed getting to know you guys. So this is my very first requested video. Um, so along the way, I've had people ask me questions about what I think about certain bags and which I prefer and how I pack things. And I've been trying to answer them uh, one by one as soon as I can. So I'm sorry if some of them were a little delayed with the two little ones, it gets a little tricky. But today I wanted to um, respond to one of my beautiful subscribers, Josie. She's actually asked me some loaded questions and I thought I wouldn't be able to do it justice by just replying in the comments. So I'm going to do a quick video for you and hopefully Josie, this answers all your questions. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to find out myself because sometimes you guys ask me questions that you know I just it really stumps me so I'm really looking forward to making this one so, so first off the leathers that the Mina Bay um, bags are made from and the Kerry Kit bags are made from are different so the Mina Bay bags are made from top grain leather whereas Kerry Kit uses full grain leather for their bags so out of the three bags that we're looking at today from it packing the least to the most I'm gonna have to say the Audrey would be the smallest and then the Harper and then the Midi Lennox. All three of the bags you are able to carry over the shoulder. So the Audrey has a strap that it comes with. I believe the new, newer versions have detachable straps as well. And you can also get a short strap, which is really, really nice. The Mini Harper that I have does not have any over the shoulder carry options, but I believe that if you purchase a extra strap, you can add that to these little hoops here and you can wear this bag over the shoulder. And I think the newer ones have the same feature as well. Mini Lennox has a strap that it already comes with and you also get an extra strap inside that is super long so you can convert this bag into backpack mode. So the Mini Harper and the Mini Lennox has feet at the bottom of them whereas the Audrey does not. So Josie, you did ask me quite a few questions. Um, I tried to write them down, so hopefully I didn't miss anything. But the first question you asked me was the width between the Audrey and the Mini Harper from Mina Bay. You wanted to know what the difference was. Now just bear in mind that the bags that I have are all 1.0s and there are some upgrades that Mina Bay did to these style bags and I'm not quite familiar with it, but I do know that the Mini Harper 2.0 is that little bit wider. So just bear that in mind. So as you can see, I'm trying to put it side by side. Hopefully this is helping. Um, but the Mini Harper looks like it's quite a bit wider than the Audrey, but the Audrey is longer. So hopefully that helps. And just like I said earlier, my Mini Harper is the 1.0. So it's a little bit thinner than the 2.0. So it kind of depends which one you're looking to purchase. But yeah, hopefully that helps. Okay, so the next question you asked me was whether I find the Audrey heavy when it's packed full. I want to start off by saying that that's kind of a hard question to answer because it kind of depends on how you pack the bag and how everyone else packs the bag. Um, but if the bag was empty and I was to compare it to other bags similar sized, I'm going to have to say that the all the bags from Mina Bay um, with the top grade leather that they use, the internal organization and their hardware, all the weight of that all in one, their bags tend to feel a little bit heavier than say a Lily Jade bag or a Kerry Kit bag in my opinion. Um, so that's why I'm a little bit more drawn to Mina Bay's smaller bags. I love their design. I love their internal organization. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of Mina Bay. I just find their bags a little heavy, especially on the bigger bags. And these, this is like when they're empty and I haven't even packed anything into it yet. And I'm a very light packer. So I can't do heavy bags, so that's why I am definitely more interested in the smaller bags that Mina Bay comes out with. So I personally love the Audrey. I love it for uh, short trips. I can pack like a water bottle, nappies, clothes, wallet, keys, all the necessities. I don't carry a whole lot, but this works really well for me. And when it's packed full, um, I don't find it heavy in terms of... Um, 
you know, with the strap and how it sits on my shoulder. I actually think it's quite comfortable for this size. And I I have heard people say that they found the Audrey a little boxy, but for me, I haven't found that to be a problem at all. I actually quite like the way it looks and the way it sits on my shoulder. So hopefully that answers your question. Hey JC, so the next question you asked me was how would I compare the Kerry Kid Midi Lanox and the Mina Bay Audrey? Now I think that's another loaded question and it's going to take me a long time to answer it properly. So I'm going to do a separate video just looking at the details of the bag and how they pack and how they compare in that way. But just a short version. I see them as two different bags. Now I know that's going to sound silly because they are two different bags, but you know when you get two bags that are kind of the same size and they kind of do the same job and you're just trying to decide between just one of them. So the Audrey from Mina Bay for me is a great quick trip bag when I have just one child, especially if it's just Haley because she is a lot older now. She's almost four so i really don't need to pack much for her and this is the perfect size for me now if i needed to take alicia out because she's younger and she just requires more things i would definitely go the lennox because it is bigger than the audrey it has more internal organization um and i wouldn't say it's because you know this is better than the audrey it's just because it's a little bit bigger and i can fit more and i can even pack enough for both my girls for a quick trip in the midi lennox but i definitely won't be able to do that in the audrey um because it's just it's, it's just going to be too so small. yeah i see them as two different bags uh for two different uses so i can't pick one um over the other because yeah i use them for different things so hopefully that helps so the next question that you asked me was out of the three bags that we had a look at today which one would i recommend as a mom bag for everyday use and i would have to choose the Audrey. The reason being is this bag is the perfect size for me. I don't carry a lot like I've said before so it's there's plenty enough organization and space for me to pack all my essentials whereas the uh, Lennox like I said is a little bit bigger so it's just going to be too much bag for what I actually even need like to pack every day. So this is the best one for me. Now the Harper is also a small bag and it would fit everything that I need as well but for an everyday bag I don't really need the backpack option. I just find a over-the-shoulder bag and crossbody bag works per perfectly fine for me so that's why I would choose the Audrey. So the next question you asked me, Josie, out of the three bags that we looked at today, which one do I prefer in terms of all the organization that it comes with? And I think that's another hard one to answer because it kind of depends what I carry and what I need it for, because I think they all have pretty good internal organization and it's really hard to choose one over the other. I would right now, because I have two young girls and I have to pack um, milk that I need to keep warm and with Haley's water bottle, it's it's an insulated bottle anyway, so it doesn't really matter if there is an insulated bottle pocket in the bag if I'm just taking Haley. But with Alicia, I do carry um, formula and like milk that's already mixed up, and I need to keep it warm. So for that reason, I would choose the Kerry Kit Midi Lennox, and the reason for that is that this bag alone has four insulated bottle pockets, which is really really nice. Whereas the Mina Bay Audrey and the Harper, I believe, don't have any insulated pockets. Now I know that the Mina Bay Harper has a side pocket here that's usually where um, people keep their bottles. I'm not 100% sure if this is meant to be like an insulated bottle pocket, but I have used it to put bottles before and it did an okay job at it. So if I was to choose between the two, it would definitely be the midi level. Okay, so we've come to the end of the video. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Alicia kind of just woke up and she's not like feeling that well. I'm so glad that I got most of the questions done and out of the way already. But um, I hope that this was helpful and just a quick reminder that I will be doing a packing video and just showing you a close look between the three bags. So hopefully um, that comes out in the next couple of days and that answers your questions if I missed anything in this video. And I'll also add in some photos of these bags all side by side as well. So hopefully that helps. So once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video and for everyone who's been um, following my channel for a couple of months now, I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next one.
Bye. Say bye bye. Bye. Bye, guys.